Hi, in C Engineer there is a function of tracking guides and this function helps you during the input of nodes. You can select some node or line as a reference node and then move your mouse cursor in some direction and input only the distance from this reference point. So you don't need to create some construction lines uh, or input coordinates or something else. So it's simply to help you for the input of the nodes. My name is Ivan Belesh and I'm support engineer for C Engineer and Idea Statica. Now we are in C Engineer and I have a small example only to demonstrate the tracking guides. Tracking guides you can activate in the snapping menu, they are here, you can activate, deactivate it, here you have settings, if you want to have another angles as 0 and 90 degree, for example, you can input 45, so I will delete it. You can activate, deactivate uh, the tracking guides also during the input with F7. F7 is deactivated, F7 is activated, okay. So the first goal is is to draw draw a horizontal member here, which is 0 0.5 from the top of the column. So first I have to select this node as a reference node and then move my cursor in the vertical direction. So I will demonstrate it. We go to 1D member, okay. I push the shift button and move my mouse cursor to the node. Then I release the shift button and this node is my reference node. From this node I can input the distances. So I go with the, in the vertical direction, you see a blue line. This is before because we are going in the Z direction and Z is blue. You see also the distance, blank 0 0.5, enter. Now I have inputted the node. The same I do on the right side. So push the shift button, move to the point, release the shift button and move in the direction. You see also the intersection of these two tracking guides because the last inputted node is also one reference node. This is the actual reference node. So if you create some polygon, then you simply have to input the distances and it's each time from the last point the distance. So I have also the intersection, I simply can click there, I don't need to input this 0 0.5, with escape I'm finished with the input. Now I will deactivate the supports. In this wall we will create a door which is 2 meter from left, is 2.2 height and 0 0.8 is, is the width. But I'm a lazy man, I don't want to input the coordinates. And I have nice coordinates to 0 0.5, so I can go with the step of 10 centimeters. There is dot grid, so you can activate the dot grid, and you can go also to the settings, and you can write the distance of your dots. So now it's activated, we have also the distance, I can go to the openings on this wall, okay, with shift. I hover over this point, this is my reference point. I move to, to the right and you see I, I jumps over 1.9 to 2.1, so I can go to 2 meters, 2.2. You can also combine blank 0 0.8, enter and go down. And now I can select this point and we have the intersection of two tracking guides. And with escape it's finished. Okay. This was from points. With shift you can select a point as a reference point for the input of the distance. With control you can do the same with lines. With the lines we have a small complication because I can measure the distance from this side and from this side. It depends on the way how you click on this line. So if you click on the left side, then it will be measured from left. If you click on the right side, then from the end. 
with one exception. There is in the tracking guides, you can go to this uh, checkbox revert lines. That means if you click on the beginning, then the distance will be measured from the end and opposite. So it's, I don't know why it's there. Maybe somebody use it. So now I will input a line which is one meter from on this line and one meter on this line. So I cannot use here the the point because in point I can go in this in this direction. So I don't know this angle. So therefore I am working with the line. So uh, we will use this line. Okay, with control with pushed control button. I go over this um, line. So I have forgotten to deactivate the dot grid. So okay, I can go back. Blank one meter. The same on this side. I go to this line, release the control, and write with blank one meter. And with escape, we are finished. Escape. It's done. We have also intersections. I have explained it in the previous two examples. Uh, the intersection I will use for the for the section on 2D. I don't know this distance. I don't know this distance, so I cannot input a point on here because I don't know the distance from this point to this column. So therefore, I need some intersection, and I am also lazy. I don't want to input uh, some construction lines. So uh, with shift, I go to this node with shift this one. If you make a mistake and you want to deselect some reference point, then with control shift and go to the node and go to the node. So you see this blue rectangles disappeared. So with shift, I can activate them again, start here. With shift, I go to here. And the last point was also the reference point. So I need only this one and click and that's defined. So I hope it will help you do for the drawing of structure. Thank you very much.